Today's kind of a weird one. I'm in a weird mood and I don't really know why. Um, but I decided to, well Josh has work all day today and so I'm here by myself. I just wanted to get some like house stuff done, I guess. Um, even though it's not my house, it's my parents' house that we're living in, but you know, whatever, same thing. I always feel like on the weekends I need to be productive because during the week when I'm working, I'm just so tired that when I get home, I don't feel like doing anything. I didn't splurge, it was cheap, it was 20 bucks, but I got the most exciting thing in my adult life. I got a handheld label maker. <laughs> I was so excited to get this. It's not so stupid. It came in the mail yesterday and the main reason why I wanted to get it is because I have my own personal filing cabinet and then Josh has a small filing cabinet as well. And I, instead of having my ugly handwriting on my labels of my folders, I decided I wanted a label maker to have a nice label for all of my folders. I went through my filing cabinet, which is in my closet. Um, so basically what's in my filing cabinet now is wedding paperwork. I That's a new file that I just started for all the wedding stuff. Then it's just important paperwork, like my passport and stuff like that, um, banking information, um, stuff related to my job now, like my pre-need license and stuff like that. I also started a medical file um, for, you know, bills and stuff um me and josh went to the eye doctor yesterday and we got a new prescription and i have already ordered my new glasses and contacts so i'm on top of that now that i've went through my filing cabinet i don't really know what else to do <laughs> also i'm like jumping around all over the place because i'm like trying to figure out what i want to do with myself i am on call all weekend which is fine um, I've only had one call so far. So Josh is blind in his right eye. I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but he was born with a cataract and when he was in elementary school, it was all with the lens, like his lens on his eye was, you know, really bad and so they tried to replace the lens and it was like a one in a million chance that he would reject it and he did. So he ended up going blind in his right eye. Um, and now that we're getting new glasses, they need like a pupil distance to set the glasses correctly and he doesn't have a pupil in his right eye because he's blind and it's like completely hazed over um so i'm like you gotta tell him that you have no pupil anymore anyway he actually lost his glasses after the eye doctor appointment so he ended up getting daily contacts um for when he rides but um now he doesn't have any glasses, so he has to wear the contact and uh, until his new glasses come in, which we both ordered our glasses yesterday and I ordered my contacts. So that's good. I went from, my prescription went from a negative 2.75 to a negative 3.5 within, well, it was within like three years or so, but I'm like, oh my god, my eyes it just keeps getting worse. Like, I'm gonna have fucking bottle cap glasses by the time I'm 50. Thanks, mom. Thanks a lot for the bad eyesight. And apparently, I do have an astigmatism. Um... I didn't I know I used to and I thought my body corrected it but apparently didn't because when I was at the doctor they said I still have one and I think it's in my left eye it's amazing how much better I can see with these new contacts though because they gave me one pair yesterday at the eye doctor and I can see like you don't realize how bad your vision is until you get your new prescription and you're like holy shit I can actually see now like it's insane I'm gonna go <sighs> I might get something to eat soon. I might just hang out here. I have no idea yet. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, I guess. <laughs> Bye. Okay, excuse the way I look. I've been just like cleaning all day. Um, anyway, I finally, I'm watching old cruise vlogs. Pair DJ. Anyway, um, I finally went through my perfumes that have been in this container. 
for two and a half years. I'm going to say that again. These perfumes have been in this container for two and a half years. Now, why that is, is my parents moved here to Texas back in 2018, February of 2018. And I was moving into Josh's family's home, which was a very small townhouse. Josh's room was in the basement, so I did not have a ton of space um, to put my own things. So I had to really cut down on my clothes and what makeup I wanted to bring and my perfumes, which was very hard for me and I'll show you why in just a minute. But I had to choose my most favorite and loved perfumes to take with me to Josh's house. And the rest I had to pack up in that plastic container and they came down with it. I moved here January of 2019. So 11 months after they moved here, I still just kept using my most worn perfumes that I brought from Josh's house. So needless to say, and I also purchased a few more in that time period too, and I signed up for Scentbird because I do love wearing different scents all the time and I am very addicted to perfume. You'll see why, well not why, but you'll see in a minute that I am addicted to perfume. And um, I just love smelling good and like I love lotions, I love body washes, and I love perfume. That's my kryptonite. Um, so the fact that I had to cut down so much to move in with Josh was just not an easy task for me. So I finally, I've been here for over, I've been here a year and a half, okay? Josh moved here in January. This thing was so heavy of perfume that I could not get it down myself. Now, today I was like, you know what? I just need to get this thing down, go through it, get rid of old shit. Like, I just need to do it. So I, she hawked it down and uh, now I have it and it is crazy. So that container is now empty. So here is my current perfume collection that I have no idea how to display, no idea how to store, no idea how to organize. And now they're all cleaned off and just sitting here on the lid of this container. I don't know what to do. So, here it is. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I have a problem. And I know you're probably thinking like, you haven't used these in two and a half years, just throw them out. And to that I say, I have spent way too much of my money on this shit. Um, I'm not getting rid of them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of them. Um, I'm gonna use them. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear off the top of my filing cabinet that I just organized and just store them on there because there's no room in my room and I'm the only one that goes in this so I know that they won't be knocked over or anything. So I'm gonna do that. I have this huge, clear container now that I have wiped clean to the best of my ability with just some Clorox disinfecting wipes and I'm like what can I do with this now because I have a big old container what am I gonna put in it and then I realized I can store my like memory shirts that I refuse to get rid of um, and things like shirts that I love and I can't get rid of so as an example I have this <laughs> entire thing here of mainly shirts that are memories um, and I can't get rid of them like this shirt for example it's a size medium <laughs> that I obviously can't fit into and this was my elementary school graduation shirt <laughs> so in elementary school when we were graduating we we're going to middle school you got this plain white shirt with everyone's names on the back and um, you got to get people to sign it and you know say goodbye or whatever if you weren't going to the same middle school which most of us did but mind you now i am 23 almost 24 so this was what year was this 2007 so 13 years ago and i can't get rid of it so i am holding on to it for memories i'm going to roll this back up and I'm gonna put all these in that container. And Josh also has, I'm not telling him I'm doing this because, and he won't know. He has so many old shirts from high school that he does not wear anymore because he can't fit into them. I'm gonna pack them away and he's not gonna know and he's not gonna be able to figure out that they're gone ever probably until I tell him. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
So I'm gonna put this entire container in there. I'm gonna pack up some of Josh's shirts and put them in there, put them back at the top of my closet and save them for whatever. I organize my perfumes. Ta-da! So what I ended up having to do was I put a lot of the stuff that was on my filing cabinet up here. So there is the container that all of these were in. Um, and those are all the shirts now that are like my memory shirts and Josh's as well. But now it is somewhat organized. Not really. The things that are in the front are the things I'm trying to get rid of the quickest. So all the small little samples and stuff like that, roller balls, everything. And then once these are gone, then it'll look better. But I refuse to get rid of it. And then I haven't tested this out to see if it'll fall if I open this, but right now it looks good. Everything is all labeled in there and very pretty looking. I still have only had one call on my phone since being on call, so that's good. Um, I'm probably going to be expecting something either this afternoon or in the middle of the night because the woman that did call um, for pricing said that her husband might pass within the next few hours. So if she goes with us, then I'll probably get that call. Okay. Oh my god. Then ignore the fact that I'm in a bra right now. And I know no one asked for this, but I have to record it. So I'm doing a boudoir shoot. I don't know if I had mentioned that before, but I'm doing a boudoir shoot for Josh. And everything has officially come in and I'm two weeks out of my shoot. So I'm going to try everything on, see how it fits, see how it all looks together. And you're going to come with me. I'm going to wear a bra during this and underwear. Um, but my first outfit is a Pikachu onesie. I don't know if this fits. It's gonna be a tight fit. But we're gonna make it work. So I just have it open right here. That'll be perfect. Show just enough cleavage. And then my hair is gonna be down. So I'll take it down. Don't judge how greasy my hair is right now. And then. Oh my god. <laughs> if you can see what I'm seeing in the mirror right now. I got some things to go with this. Hold on. So I'm also doing a biker look because my fiance rides a motorcycle. And so I got this choker, this leather choker. And for this look, I'm also going to wear it. So I got this choker to wear for the biker look that I'm going to wear next. Um, my tits look great. Oh my god. But I also got, I got these yellow, they, they match, these yellow lacy socks to wear my feet. They're so cute, oh my god. This actually matches like perfectly. This look is gonna be so fucking cute. This is really tight. I literally have it on the loosest setting and it's super tight. How do you lose weight in your neck? Asking for a friend. Here is my fishnet suit. No idea how to put this on. Oh my god. How did they even get this in here? I just have a couple questions. Oh, this is gonna be a bitch to get in and out of. All right, is this an arm or a foot? That's a foot, okay. Just it around. What am I doing? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I need to sit down and try to figure this out. So I finally succeeded on getting on the <laughs> lace or the fishnet bodysuit. <laughs> it was not fun, um, but I did it. So I have a bra on. Obviously, um, and I have this zip to cover some of my lady bits, um, but I have these short shorts on. I don't know if you can tell, but they are short leather shorts. And um, this is my actual leather vest that I'm going to be wearing, and I'm probably going to have it unzipped and just kind of like 
covering my goods. So there's this. And then I'm going to have on that choker. So now I have the choker on. So you can see my full outfit. Be like this. I'm gonna have pasties. Sorry, my camera died and I'm really going to get another battery. So I ended up finding, cause this choker is literally gonna choke me. Um, so I ended up finding this old bracelet that I might try to just have on the back of it. Oh, this is a good angle um, to act like as an extender. Okay, well now it's like way too loose. <laughs> but, and now it's like hanging down here. And then I can just like tie it off. Grab it like a bath. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this. All right, I changed the battery in my camera. I tried everything on, everything fits perfect. The outfits look amazing. So um, I put everything away. Um, left my project items on the top, which is the choker that I got to extend and put that away where I had it hidden before. Now I'm just going to do a little self care and put a face mask on. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Charcoal Mask. I'm just going to put this on my face a little bit. I got to do something for work real fast. So I'm going to do that. I've never had a chemical burn before, but I 100% think I just got one. <laughs> you can see exactly where I have my mask on. Apparently, I just really love to record when I'm cleaning my bathroom. And it looks like I clean my bathroom often when I really don't. Um, once every two months, maybe, um, if I'm lucky. But for some reason, my bathroom gets so dusty. Like, that's the back of my toilet seat. What the fuck? And then me and Josh both have really thick hair, so hair just ends up fucking everywhere. It's time for me to clean the bathroom again. Um, so I am. I got a new like all-purpose cleaner that I'm really really excited about. This is Everspring one that smells like lavender and I'm all about like nice smelling and kind of like natural um, cruelty free cleaning products. Method is my favorite cleaning product um, but they were out of sprays at Target but I did get the toilet bowl cleaner so I'm gonna use that. That's the Method brand but I just hate the smell of bleach and I know bleach like helps clean but I just want my bathroom to smell good <laughs> so I sprayed my entire sink down now I'm gonna wash my toilet and then I'm I might wipe down my shower I'm debating it really doesn't look too bad I got new sponges so I'm I want to try them out <laughs> it sounds so stupid um, but everything just needs to be wiped down and then I have my um my Swiffer a wet jet that I'm going to clean the floors with and then I'm going to vacuum my room because a lot of the hair that ends up in here that is in here will end up in there so I'm gonna vacuum after I'm done wiping some stuff down in here I always put this off when I really don't have to my bathroom is tiny but I, I push it off anyway so this is what I'm gonna do today happy Friday y'all well this is a crazy way to see me. I'm having a hard time finding any motivation to do anything today. So it's probably a really good thing that I did the bathroom yesterday, um, which I did my whole bathroom. I didn't really scrub down my tub, but 
really didn't need to be. I just wiped down the inside of my tub. I didn't wipe down, down the walls or anything. I've noticed something too. I've always been like cold as a person, even being bigger. I'm always like really cold, which is why I always have like, I have an abundance of sweatshirts at my desk chair. I have a big hooded blanket. And then I just bought this like sweatshirt blanket so it's a sweatshirt but it's like fleece lined and it's like a blanket um i just bought this for 25 bucks off of amazon and i'm freezing like like it's 105 degrees outside and i'm sitting in here with sweatpants and this thing on um so i don't really know what that's all about but i'm just really cold and so all i want to do is be in this blanket and lay down <laughs> and watch TV. So I still have that keto book. So honestly, I feel like I just want to lay in bed and watch Family Guy because I'm getting caught up on all the newest seasons. Um, so I feel like all I want to do is just lay in bed and read my book and watch Family Guy. So that's what I'm going to do.